This is a special edition of the Mike Gallagher Show. Coronavirus in America. We're using the full power of the federal government to defeat the virus, and that's what we've been doing. For a while, life is not going to be the way it used to be in the United States. As we face this national emergency pandemic, now's the time for knowledge and clarity. And this is the place to get it. We're going into a full crisis footing. This is a wartime dynamic. We have to think about helping each other in different ways. The president made very decisive decisions quickly. 2020 is definitely going to be one for the history books. And as we take it all in, we know that we'll get through this together. We're America. And now, here's Mike. We've never suffered from a lack of content on this show, and certainly during this national and worldwide emergency, we have more material than we know what to do with. The challenge is to get it all in. Some days I come into this uh, broadcast, I start to say I come to work, and that means I, <laughs> I walk from the, from the bedroom into the kitchen and, uh, and plop down. Actually, there is a lot of preparation uh, to get everything ready for you. Not that you care, but if you are a bit of a radio geek or you love radio like I do, you should see all the soundproofing, the temporary soundproofing that is all around me, and it's all temporary. We're not in a studio. We're in my kitchen in my condo in Florida where we've been for, well, many weeks now. How long have we been here, Eric? Six, seven weeks? I mean, eight, six or seven, I think, and every day there's a process. <laughs> if, if you saw the setup here, because it looks pretty good on the camera, right? You see me in front of my kitchen. I'm actually in the dining area. We have the camera rolling every day on our YouTube channel at MikeOnline.com, or you, know, you can stream the show, see the video clips. But what it looks like outside of the camera's view is so tacky. Uh, these giant soundproof things that Eric sent me, there's four of them that like, I, I feel like I'm like in the, uh, uh, in, in the chamber of uh, horrors. I got these soundproofing things all around me, and then we, I went and got... This is me now. I went to an open Walmart in Florida and bought the, is it called batting? I think it's batting that you stuff into a quilt. You know, people who make quilts would know this kind of stuff, but it's like the white, thick material you put in the, in the, in the uh, quilts. And we, I've got it draped every day because I have this giant light fixture over my head and it was bouncing off all the sound. So now I, every day I wrap the, the batting uh, around the lights above me. It's ridiculous. I look like a lunatic. I look like I have left absolutely lost every day with, before I start the show, I look like I've lost my mind. I'm on top of the table. I'm draping and I don't want to leave it up when I'm not doing the radio show. Cause it's so ugly. So, so we do, we're putting a lot of work into it all. And uh, we're glad you're here every day. We never have a shortage, as I said, of things to cover important news, sometimes really bad news. Over 30 million people now uh, are out of work officially on the unemployment rolls. First time filings for unemployment insurance hit 3.84 million last week. Uh, we now are up to over 30 million people. That's the rolling six week total, 30.3 million as part of the worst unemployment crisis in US history. It is now officially the worst unemployment crisis in U.S. history. And Americans are starting to get um, frustrated on a lot of things. A lot of things. Americans are frustrated about um, draconian orders that are designed to keep us safe but are crushing the country. As you just heard in the open with Tucker Carlson last night pointing out, Rich Lowry wrote this piece in National Review the other day, We're, we've crushed our hospitals. You know, we, we've strangled the life out of our hospitals because we were so convinced and told that all the hospitals would be so overflowing with COVID patients uh, outside of New York and New Jersey. That didn't really happen. And now the hospitals are dying on the vine with the rest of the economy because with people not wanting to go to the hospital to get treated, the hospitals have lost all that revenue. They're laying people off, furloughing people, firing people in the hospitals because they're in big trouble economically. The movie industry, of course, is in big trouble. Um, I, I started my day with a friend of mine kind of criticizing AMC and the Regal cinema chains because they're boycotting Universal. Universal had a big movie, I don't know, Trolls on, what is the movie called, guys? Tro Trolls 
on patrol or something. It's a, a movie about trolls, I guess. Uh, and th instead of taking it to the movie theaters, as Universal was going to do, they streamed it online. And they've made over $100 million. They did better streaming it online than they would have apparently at the theaters. Well, the theaters are saying, wait a minute, you've left us high and dry. We had an agreement. You're, when the theaters are going to open, that was maybe going to be one of our big movies. But this is the new normal. We're going to find this after this goes away. We're going to see that a lot of things might change. Our movie theater is going to go out of business because the, 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 the movie companies are going to take it directly to people to stream to, for a fee. Uh, look, at, look at the success that we've had with No Safe Spaces. This incredible movie with Dennis Prager and Adam Carolla. It's a brilliant, brilliant exploration of the way the left silences speech. It was the number one political documentary of 2019. Well, you're we now have it available for you to do the same thing. You can go to nosafespaces.com. You can watch it for a limited time. Uh, you can watch No Safe Spaces on demand for $19.99. DVDs are $19.99 on demand plus a DVD, $29.99, and right now you'll get 25% off that price when you go to nosafespaces.com and use the discount code SAVE25. You get a quarter of the price off, right, like that. So we're doing these things. We're thinking differently. Working from home is going to become an absolute new emergence of coronavirus. I'm convinced of this. I mean, wh why in the world... If you can keep your business going and you can work from home, companies can save a lot of money. You're gonna, we're going to save, you know, the commute, no gas uh, to, to drive 30 minutes into the office. If you can work as effectively for, and, and listen, I like going into the office. Um, I'm, I, I've, I've, I've had the, the kind of job where over the years, I've been able to work from home. Remember, if you remember years ago, five, six, seven years ago, I had my hip replacement. And I think within two days, I was back to work because I got wheeled into my living room and sat on the couch and did the radio show after hip replacement. Two days. I think I missed, how many, well, that's right, right in there, I think I missed two days of work. And I had a total hip replacement because I could work from home, didn't miss a beat. When Denise was sick, I was at home taking care of her running down the hall on commercials, giving her a kiss, checking on her, running back, talking about politics or whatever we talked about. So that's part of the new normal. What's not normal are some of the stories we're seeing just out of the headlines that are stunning. Are you ready for this? This Michigan governor, Gretchen Whitmer, she's announcing a program that would provide free college for people who have worked at grocery stores or child care providers, or people like delivery drivers and health care and hospital and nursing home workers. Free college. Uh, Tuition-free education. You see, and I, and I read this, I thought, no, 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 this isn't really right. We, we honor these workers like no, never before. We should be so grateful for the courage, the strength, the resilience of these tough, tough people who are putting themselves in harm's way. Well, Gretchen Whitmer thinks that free college is the way to thank them. Now, free college, of course, is a rallying cry for Democrats the land over. How many times we hear Hillary talk about free college? And I'd come back on the air and I'd say, there's no free college. You think the, 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 uh, the professors get paid from the, the, for the tuition ferry? Do you think that the, the buildings are run by the money tree out in the backyard? We'll pay for that. It is, of course, a, 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 a way for the government to pay, to pay the costs of people who want to go to college. Gretchen Whitmer said, the Futures for Frontliners program is our way of saying thank you to those who've risked their lives on the front lines of this crisis. This program will ensure tuition-free college opportunities and give these dedicated Michiganders an opportunity to learn a technical certificate, associate degree, or even a bachelor's degree. I want to assure our workers will never forget those of you who stepped up and sacrificed. I mean, I would agree with her that we should never forget the sacrifice of these essential workers. 
But this program that would offer free college is a result, I can guarantee you, of what it feels like when people are getting checks and money and unemployment enhanced benefits, including 600 extra dollars a week. One of the big worries that, that Republicans dared to mention was that in many cases, people are making more on unemployment than they were making in their regular job. The administration said, well, that's kind of a byproduct of, of what, the way this happened. We had to do this so quickly, and we didn't have time to formulate it. Well, I, okay, there were plenty of negotiations that went on between the Republicans and the Democrats, and my heart goes out to anybody who's been laid off, who's been furloughed, who's out of work, for crying out loud, if you make more money... And this is becoming a big concern. You make more money on unemployment for months, make it all through the summer, whatever, the next three, four, five months, whatever it's going to be, than you made in your job. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that there might be some people who don't want to go back to their job. There might be some people who like not having to go get up and take a shower and shave and drive into the office and come back. They like being home and make more than they were making in their own job. Is that a reasonable question? A lot of really, really weird things coming out of all of this. 1-800-655-MIKE, 